Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you for being here. My name's Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. We have an hour together for chair yoga. So make sure you have some space around you and the chair you're on is stable and comfortable. And let's begin. Gather everything you need for your practice. Maybe you want a glass of water. If you need an extra cushion or a pillow behind you, go ahead. If you want to sit away from the back of your chair, supporting your own spine, if that feels comfortable, and um, that could be a great way to start. Taking your feet a comfortable distance apart, and it's gonna look different for every single one of us, so don't think there is a right way to do this. There is no wrong way to do yoga. Root down through your feet. You can even pick up the toes or the balls of the feet Give those toes a little wiggle and see if you can fan them out, strengthening and stretching through the soles of the feet, waking up that awareness underneath us to that support underneath us as we take the soles of the feet all the way down, keeping the toes light. Take your awareness to your seat where your seat meets the chair and then connect downwards. The option is to shift the flesh of your seat away from you, either side. That way we get a little more connected down into our sits bones, which is the base of the pelvis. And if you wiggle from side to side, you might even notice the, um, those more um, bony bits underneath you. Trying to get both of those rooted down as evenly as possible. Consider whether you feel like your tailbone is sticking out behind you or even tucked underneath you towards your knees. If either of those are happening, consider drawing your shoulders above your hips rather than behind or in front. And that way, it normally balances the pelvis. So we're sitting right on top of the, of the tips of the pelvis there. Root down through your seat into the chair and into the support underneath your feet. Take a breath in when you're ready. And on an exhale, really allow the upper body weight to rest into that support of the chair and the support underneath your feet. You can take a couple of breaths to allow any tension or holding to start to dissolve and melt away. If you want to, you can even imagine roots growing down from your seat and down through your feet into the earth itself. As if tree roots growing down and wide, stronger and broader as they reach downwards. This is just a visual way of grounding and connecting into that support we always have underneath us. Once your roots are spread in all directions and you're feeling connected down to the solid earth underneath us, we're going to draw that earth energy up through those roots. And you can imagine that happening, coming up through the soles of your feet if you like, or simply imagining a rising coming up through the center line of your body. So we're starting to engage the core of the body as we reach the crown of the head up towards the sky, allowing the shoulders to roll back and down. Again, once they're settled earthward, allow the shoulder blades to snuggle towards each other just softly as you broaden across the heart space. And this is gonna be our focus today, opening up across the chest and heart space. Once we're here, notice your posture. Take a breath in, keep the shape. Release the tension. And you can take a couple of breaths to do that. Feel free to soften your gaze, close your eyes, whatever feels good to you. And take a few moments there, just noticing how you are in this moment. Imagine the room you're in and where you are within that room. Sacking. Mm. 
Notice the thoughts in your mind currently without judgment, just notice them there. Notice persistent thoughts, something that's very present for you today. And then as if a pebble were in your forehead or in the center of your head, imagine dropping that pebble down through water and resting in your heart space as if it were resting right at the bottom of a shallow, clear pool. And you can imagine that pebble of your consciousness, if you like, any color, any shape you like. It could be a semi-precious stone. It could be a simple gray pebble you pick up on the beach. And any time that pebble bobs up to your head and you become aware of thoughts, I want you to send that pebble down towards your heart space and notice feelings and emotions that are present. Welcome them all in. And you might not be aware of any, just stay present with it. Or there might be a tumble dryer of emotions. Stay away from judgment, don't attach a story to anything, just notice. And notice if there's any tightness or tension around the chest and heart space. Just with a curiosity. And then allow your awareness to scatter through your body, taking up your whole body, crown of your head to the soles of your feet and the tips of your fingers and thumbs and notice how your body feels today, your energy levels, if there's tender places you need to take extra care of, if there's tension that you can ease in some way, and if there's anything else your body is letting you know at the beginning of your practice, now you're getting quiet and really paying attention. We start to drop into our breath, just as it is, noticing the breath. Maybe breathing in and out through the nose if that's comfortable for you today, and if not, just an easy breath. The easiest breath you can find. We start to deepen and lengthen that breath. Once more, taking that awareness or that dropping that pebble all the way down into your heart space. And seeing if you can breathe from that place right in the center of your heart space. You can even imagine this like a ball of light or simply a ball and on the inhale that ball expands and on the exhale it softens. So there's this ebbing and flowing right in the center of your heart space. You might even feel that into your outer ribs, both front, side and back, behind your heart. You might notice it in your shoulders rising or your belly protruding on the inhale and then softening as that ball softens as you exhale. Steadying that breath. And imagine if you could breathe in the center of your heart space in 360 degrees. So all the way around, like a sphere, all the way around in every single direction, there's this expanding and softening. Go inside and notice if there's a particular area of that sphere where the breath feels less fluid. 
you might notice maybe around the side or the back or this position or that position of that sphere that something feels a little tight. It doesn't have to make sense. And we start to try and even that sphere of breath in and out. Getting used to the rhythm of your breath. And that's the breath we'll keep coming back to, this heartfelt breath in all directions. So we root down through our feet and seat. We rise from there, softening the shoulders, broadening across those collarbones. We've got that breath in all directions and that ball of breath inside the heart space. And then with the very tip of your nose, on the inhale, we lift, lifting the chin, lengthening the back of the neck. And on the exhale, the chin draws down towards the chest. Inhaling, lifting. Exhaling, drawing down. Noticing how you feel this, allowing the breath to guide the movement. So the inhale tips the chin as that ball expands. And the exhale, the ball softens and the chin lowers. Notice if you can feel a sense of energy through the heart space as the breath comes and goes. Staying for the last exhale. And when you're ready, coming back to center. Dropping that, um, those arms down beside you. I'm going to take some circles through the shoulders in both directions. Inhaling up, exhaling, round and down, whichever direction you're going in. Notice how this feels through your shoulders. And then when you're ready, we'll pause and take that round in the opposite direction. Last breath here. And then when you're ready, Turning that right palm out, left palm can come to the side of your chair or anywhere else for support. Inhaling the palm up on the right side, exhaling down. And again, the arm is just an extension of the breath. So there's that expansion on the inhale, softening on the exhale. Option to start to move from the shoulder. I'm really breathing in through the right side of your ribs and body here, through the chest and heart space. Seeing if you can concentrate all your breath on that right side. The left hand can support you should that right arm come up and over. Let's take another three breaths like that, focusing on breathing on the right side of the heart space, through the ribs, back, front, and side. And the next time those fingertips come down, now the right hand can support you on the chair. Left palm turns up from the elbow, inhaling up, exhaling down. Now we're starting to focus the breath on the left side of the heart space. Option to start to move from the shoulder. Seeing if you can breathe only in that left side as if you only had one lung. Imagine it, sense it, feel it. 
And that right hand, if it's supporting you on the chair, can be your support if those fingertips come up and over. Steady, smooth breath. Breathing right into the left side. Three more to go. You can always rest. fingertips come down, we're taking the hands back down to support, moving in any way which releases any tension, rooting down to rise through the crown of your head. If you're sitting into the back of your chair, you may want to come forward as we get down through the spine. On the inhale, the hands draw towards the pelvis as the heart opens and we arch. On the exhale, sending the fingertips towards the knees as we round and continue inhaling and exhaling. Mm -hmm. Breathing into the front of your heart space on that inhale, on the exhale, breathing out as the belly draws up and in, pushing the air out. So imagine that ball of breath in the heart space, expanding on the inhale and softening and curling in on the exhale so it gets smaller. If you want to continue there, with the movements through the spine, then go ahead. If you want to bring arm movements into it, on the inhale, we're going to expand the arms out. That's the inhale, taking the arms to the side and maybe even back behind you. The shoulder blades come towards each other. We have this opening through the chest. On the exhale, as we curl the belly in, fingertips come in front of you, arms can be bent or more extended as the fingertips come together. So inhaling, opening, you can lift the chin. On the exhale, the chin can dip towards the chest as we curl. And if there's another arm movement that suits you, then please go ahead. Let's take two more. Rest if you want to. Take the arms down if that feels better. After the next exhale, we're going to come all the way back up to center. From there, it's sliding the hands down beside you and then taking the hands slightly towards the hips or even behind the hips, depending on the range of motion through the shoulders, just a gentle opening. Taking hold of the side or the back of the chair where it's comfortable, roll the shoulders back and down and open up through the hard space. If you have a connection to the side or back of your chair, you can use that connection to push into the hands and lift through the heart. Consider lifting through the waistline too. Chin can lift. If the breath is challenged with this as we open up through the heart space, um, draw the chin down. If it feels okay, lengthen through the crown of the head up a little bit. We're not um, compressing the back of our head towards the top of our shoulders. There is length through the back of the neck, so we support the neck here. And breathe three breaths in through the heart space, that ball of breath in all directions. See, even with the heart open here, if you can breathe into the side and the back of the heart, Staying for one last breath here. 
And on your exhale, release the chin down to neutral. And then we're rolling those fingertips back to support in front of us. Any movement you need, go ahead. And then from there, taking the hands down beside you, turning the palms towards me. On the inhale, we'll shift the palms upwards. And on the exhale, I'm going to turn the palms down, maybe even back behind you. We get this collapsing through the collarbones, opening through the back of the shoulders. Inhaling, we're opening through the pectoral muscles across the front of the chest. And on the exhale, we close that down. So we're just going from side to side, rippling that rotation through the fingers all the way through to the shoulders. You might even notice on that inhale, you can imagine the shoulder blades coming towards each other on the inhale and on the exhale as they slide away. Mm -hmm. You can stay here with the hands down. You can lift up the hands. If you want to lift them towards shoulder height, no more. And then Again, that rotation as if we're twisting in and out light bulbs. And don't be surprised if there's very different rotations on either side. Again, those shoulder blades sliding towards each other and then away from each other. We've got another two here. support take a breath in and exhale that out nice and slow and steady nicely done and then from here hands um, crossing crossing each other at the thumbs we're going to lay those palms on our heart now lift the heart space into the palms and the palms are lifted because of that lengthening through the crown of your head. This is the inhale on the exhale. I'm gonna to tip to one side, inhaling, leading with the heart on the crown of the head, and then we're gonna to tip to the other side. So we're going from side to side. Imagine that your shoulder blades, the back of your head are connected to an imaginary wall behind you and you're sliding up and down. And then the next time we come through center, we will stay. Hands coming down. Take a breath in. Exhale it out. Mm -hmm. And then that right hand, or other right hand, left hand, is going to dangle down. Roll the shoulders back and down, coming into our twist, and we'll start gently. So turn the left palm forward, and I'm, of course, always mirroring you. We're going to inhale with the palm up, turn the palm down on the exhale. The hand can come any height, but no more than shoulder height, so we keep it... So it's just out in front of us. Mm -hmm. And that can be any height you like, as long as it's not more than shoulder height. Option to stay here. You can even take the arm back behind you if that feels good. And then we're gonna come into a gentle rotation through the spine. So we're inhaling the palm up and it's gonna stay there. And then we're gonna exhale, twisting to the left. Inhaling back to center, exhaling the palm comes down, and that's the movement. Inhaling up, keep the palm lifted as we twist. Exhaling back to center, or inhaling back to center, exhaling down. Let's take one more.
Taking the left hand down to support, the right hand dangles. Palm turns up, and then from the shoulder, we're lifting the hand up. Any height, not higher than shoulder height, exhaling it down. Palm faces down, inhaling the palm faces up. And again, you can adjust this to suit your body. The arm can come back behind you. Maybe the arm is a little bit further away from your body. Our joints are all put together differently. It's going to feel different for each of us. Coming into the rotation, the next time that palm comes up, the option is to twist to the right, inhaling back to center, and palm comes down on the exhale. So it is a gentle rotation. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, and exhaling at your own pace. Feel that breath, that spherical breath in your heart space in all directions. And let's take three more. Steady breath. You can always rest. Nicely done. Turning the palm down. And then we're going to take those hands back to support. Any intuitive movement to release tension, please go ahead. And we're going to take those feet a little wider. Adjust yourself on your chair if you need more or less support. More support, you come back into the back of your chair. Less support, you can sit towards forward, making sure that you feel rooted. So again, we're rooting to rise. We're connecting down to the support underneath us with our feet and our seat, and we're rising from there. And then just come back to those breaths, those expansive, um, whole sphere of breaths, 360 degrees in every single direction. And from there, we're going to take that right arm out, bend through the elbow. The rest of our body is stable and still. So the lower body, the upper body, we're moving from the shoulder to start with. So on the inhale, I'm going to take that arm back behind us. We've kind of done this a few times today. That's the inhale. On the exhale, we're tapping towards the inside of the left thigh. Inhaling and exhaling. Now again, we're breathing from that spherical breath. Inhaling and exhaling. Great place to stay here and our hearts facing forward, or we start to bring that rotation. Inhaling, we're twisting to the right. Opening up through the heart space, so there's a lifting through the chest, very much like when we were tick-tocking side to side. On the exhale, curl the belly in towards the back of the chair as you take the fingertips towards the inside of the left thigh or knee. Inhaling and exhaling. So there's a little cat and cow here, but we're also getting that rotation in. Option here is to lift with the right, the right fingertips and on the exhale, using that left hand for support, tapping maybe towards the inside of the knee, even maybe towards the shin. Inhaling, breathing, exhaling that ball of breath that's smaller. You can take the gaze with you. Let's take two more. Coming all the way back to center. Any intuitive movement you need, go ahead. Rooting to rise. And then we bend the left elbow. Drawing the left shoulder blade towards the back body, towards the spine in the middle. That's the inhale on the exhale, keeping the body upright. We're tapping towards the inside of the um, right thigh. 
inhaling and exhaling. So we've done a lot of this rotation through the shoulder. Now option to bring a slight twist on the inhale, we're looking back towards the hand on the exhale. We're tapping towards the inside of the thigh. On the inhale, there's a lifting of the heart as we expand through the breath. On the exhale, that curling in of the belly as we tap towards the inside of the thigh or knee. Option to stay there, option to extend the left arm up, maybe even back behind you as we open up through the heart space. On the exhale, curling in as the belly pushes in and up, pushing the breath away. We curl in using the right hand for support, reaching with the left hand. Inhaling and exhaling, keeping the breath going. Let's take two more. And we'll come all the way back to center. And then when you're ready, we're going to heel toe, those legs more parallel, washing the knees from side to side. Coming back to center. Taking a breath in and exhaling it out. And then taking one or both hands to your upper chest and breathing into the palms of your hands. On the inhale with that spherical breath, the hands extend away from the center line. And exhaling, softening. Let's take another two breaths, really concentrating with that pebble of awareness down in the heart space. Close your eyes, lower your gaze, whatever feels comfy. Expand not only the front of your chest, but the side of your ribs and the back of your heart. Regulate that breath. Let's take one more. Mm -hmm. And when you're ready, we'll take the hands down, take a breath in, and exhale it out. Nicely done. We're coming down to the earth. For this, you're going to need a folded or um, rolled towel, and I'll show you how to do it. So if you go gather a bath towel or a blanket, a firm blanket, then we're going to come down um, a few movements first, and then we're going to come into a heart opener. So I'll see you down on the earth. Here we are down on the earth and I have my blanket. I'm gonna put that to the side and we'll get to that in a little bit. Coming all the way down onto our back, making sure you have any extra support or softness that you need. Knees to the sky, feet to the floor. Pick up through the pelvis, lengthen the seat away from you or your sit bones towards your heels. Draw your chin softly in towards your chest a little. And then from there, just come back to the breath. And if you want to, you can take your fingertips or your palms onto the upper chest, elbows resting. And if your fingertips, depending on the length of your arms, maybe they come to the side of your ribs. There's no wrong way to be here. Just come back to that support underneath you. Allow your body to rest into that support. And then when you're ready, settle the breath. And settle into that spherical breath. So we're not only feeling the heart expand here in the front and the side ribs, but you're also feeling the back ribs push into the back of um, the support underneath you. Regulate 
regulate the breath in and out so it's as steady as possible. And then with the knees over the ankles, I'm going to draw the elbows in. Triceps connecting down to the earth. And then draw the shoulder blades softly towards each other so we just get this lifting up through the heart space. So we've got robot arms here, fingertips right, reaching towards the ceiling. Spread the balls of the feet and the toes. And notice if you're pushing more into one foot or the other, if you just press down and then release. So pressing down through the soles of your feet just a little, just to notice if you're coming to the outer or inner blade of your feet or if you're using one foot more than the other. See if you can uh, balance that up as best as feels good in your body. You can stay there, simply pressing into your feet and exhaling, there's a softening that's happening. Or on the inhale, you're pushing into your feet, your shoulders, your triceps, back of your head, and on the inhale, we're hovering the hips a little. And on the exhale, we're taking the hips down. Inhaling, hovering, and exhaling down. And as you do that, you might notice that you want to widen or broaden your stance or change your foundation in some way. Notice as you hover the hips, if one side of the pelvis lifts off first or there's a swaying that's involved as you press more into one side than the other and see if you can even that out too this is micro awareness here so we're aware of all those little micro movements the height the height is irrelevant here what we want is the steadiness of the movement here Inhaling and exhaling. You can rest at any time, take a couple of breaths, of course. Now you can stay here lifting and lowering, trying to even through your feet, through your pelvis, lifting and both sucking down so one side doesn't come down first. Noticing if at the end of that exhale, if there's still tension there, or if you're really giving yourself a little rest in between. Now option to stay there, and this is quite a lot, you can play with the height of your hips. So if you want those hips to come a little higher and you can still, um, you still feel that that's within the flow of the length of your breath, then please go ahead. The next option is we're gonna lift the hips and we're going to stay. Push down into the triceps and lift up through the heart space. So the heart is going to lift towards the chin. The chin is tucked slightly. Notice if you're pressing unevenly through the feet, through the triceps, through one shoulder or the other. Try and keep everything as even as possible. And once you're here, we're going to take those breaths all around the upper chest. 360 degrees every direction. Let's take two more breaths here. You can always come down and rest. It doesn't matter how high your hips are, but keep that breath fluid. And on the exhale, I'm going to take the hips all the way back down to the earth. This time, I'm going to separate the heels, draw the knees in towards each other. Palms come to rest on your torso and your breathing. Again, regulating the breath. You can stay here and rest. You can do the previous bridge modifications, the pulsing up and down, you can come up and hold, or we're gonna add on, depending on the range of motion through your body. Come back into regular 
Brooch pose, foundation. So triceps push down, but those robot arms. On the inhale, when you're ready, lift up. Now you can pulse up and down, or once again, you can stay. Option to take the hands all the way down to the earth. Now the palms can rest down and you can lift through the heart and this is where you can stay or interlace the hands underneath your pelvis, roll one shoulder and then another underneath. So you really get this heart lifting. Push down through the hands, all the way through the pinky fingers and now breathe into the heart space. Evenly pushing through both feet. Don't worry if you need to um, draw your hips a little further down. Breathing into the heart space. We've got another three breaths here. And if you need to come out earlier, please do. And the last one, more or less. If you have a bind, you'll release that bind. Take the fingertips up towards the ceiling and roll down through the spine one vertebrae at a time. And you have an option here, maybe the knees come in towards each other, ankles apart, or option, soles of the feet come towards each other, knees come apart. If you have bolsters, blocks, you can take those underneath the thighs, or Make the hands as fists. Depending on the length of your bones, this may or may not work in your body. You can rest those, the top of your femur bones right at the hip joint on the um, soft fists. So they're taking some support. And that's not gonna work for everybody. It just depends on how long your bones are, how long your torso is, and the range of motion in your hips. And wherever you are, we wanna breathe. Regulate the breath. Breathe 360 degrees around that um, ball of breath in your heart space. Now the option to stay here a little longer or I'm going to come back to the center, pick up the hips and take the hips to the right. Cactus the arms here. Once you're there, knees come up and in and over to the left. Now, if you have a bolster or any blocks, you want to rest the knees or lower shins on, please do. Right shoulder is rooted. And then gazing over the right shoulder. Take some breaths. And can you breathe here 360 degrees around your heart space? Gaze comes to center when you're ready. Knees come to center. Shift your hips back to center and over this time to the left side. Left shoulder stays rooted as we lift the knees up and over towards the right, supporting the lower legs in any way you need to to keep that left shoulder grounded. So we're opening up once more across the um, armpit here, cross the left side on the pectoral muscles and we're breathing. Can you breathe into that ball of breath? And breathing into especially that left side. Make any adjustments you need to or when you're ready. We're coming all the way up, gaze, knees, and then the hips come back to center. And from here, rolling to one side and coming up as we get that blanket. The blanket or the towel that you have 
taking it out into a rectangle around about the width of your yoga mat ish here you can see me so about the width of a yoga mat and then you know roll that either the short way which is going to give you a bigger roll or the long way which is going to give you a slightly smaller roll whichever one is comfortable for you taking it to about a third the way down your mat now for some of us we might need a block or a pillow underneath the head making sure that's back behind you we're taking that exactly at the shoulder blades so the shoulder blades supported by that roll and then the tops of the shoulders resting on the earth for some of us you might need a pillow resting underneath your shoulders and behind your head or an extra pillow underneath your head we're opening up through the heart space, the shoulders resting on either that pillow or the earth, and arms in a cactus or a T, whatever is comfortable. Knees bent, ankles apart, constructive rest here, or you can take a bolster underneath your knees, or if it feels comfortable for you, you can lengthen all the way out. So we're getting the roll right underneath the shoulder blades, opening up the front of the chest, and we're once again opening through the upper chest and pectoral muscles as we rest with the arms. And then from here, taking a big breath in, exhaling it out, regulating the breath. Ball of breath right in, center of your heart space and here we are we're going to take some deep full breaths here if there's any discomfort in your body please make adjustments maybe you need to unwind your roll a little bit so you don't get quite so much heart opening or maybe you need a little more you get to choose And every exhale, allow that ball of breath to get smaller as the body sinks into the earth. And every inhale, like a light getting brighter, the heart space all the way around expands. And continue with that breath. You can stay here if this is comfortable for you for relaxation please go ahead or if your legs are extended the knees bend feet to the floor there's a couple of options here option one roll to the side slide that out underneath you and come all the way back and we have the option full rest here, constructive rest, shavasana on your side, on your back, on your belly. The other option is if you don't need to roll all the way up, just sliding that out. As you find your way into relaxation, 
come to a place that feels the most comfortable for you. Any extra layers you might need, an extra pillow underneath your head, or just adjusting the angle. Take what you need here for your comfort. And then we settle in and settle down. Let your body relax into the support underneath it. Notice your body as it starts to lengthen and unwind. Notice the thoughts in your mind as they come and go. And then drop that pebble of awareness of consciousness from your mind down into your heart space. And for a lot of us, that bobs right back up to our head as many times as you need to. Sink the pebble down into your heart space. And notice what feels very present there. There may be emotions that come up. There may be sensations in your physical body, in your heart space, your chest. There may be sensations of tightness, of constriction, of openness. Now imagine every soft exhale that is no longer controlled. And the heart space just gently opens as if right in the center of your heart space there was a flower, a bud of a rose or your favorite flower. And every exhale, one petal, one outer petal opens. And the next exhale is a gentle opening of another petal. And it might be that something comes up into your awareness that maybe you've been closed off to recently. Or somebody in your life that this feels relevant to. Every exhale, that heart opening, that petal, just gently, it might be a millimeter of a shift in a petal. Be in no rush to open your flower. Instead, allow it to unfold and open with your breath. and sit in that awareness for the next little while, every exhale opening that breath, opening the flower and ultimately softening and opening through the heart space.
Notice how that feels after all of that time. If you wish to stay for longer and have more time, please do. Decide now if you would like to keep that flower open or if it feels more comfortable for you on the next few inhales to allow that bud to once more close. Take the next few breaths for that to happen. more notice the support underneath you. Take a breath in. Exhale it out. Starting to take soft movements into your fingers, your toes, your hands, your knees, your elbows, shoulders. Maybe you Bring the knees in and wash them from side to side, any which way you would like to open up. Take your time. And when you're ready, starting to make your way up to a place that you want to finish up your practice today. And once there, settle in. Take your hands in a gesture of closing today. It could be as simple as your palms resting on your heart or another gesture that suits you. Take a breath in and on an exhale, draw your chin towards your chest softly. Soften through the gaze or close the eyes and drop that pebble of awareness into your heart space. And take a breath of gratitude for your unique heart. Thank yourself for your practice. From my heart to yours. Namaste.